You may be seated. Welcome to Faith Christian Fellowship. Um, I have some instructions for you. I just need to, I'm going to get right back to them. I have some instructions for you. The Holy Spirit woke me up about 1.30 this morning and I laid in bed because I thought, I was like, okay, my alarm's fixing to go off. It's going to go off, so I'll just get up to pray. And then we went off, so I probably laid about 20 minutes, and then I finally got up. <clears throat> and it was a little before 2, so I got into my prayer closet, and I stayed there, got in the Word, to about 4 this morning. And I'm not saying that to impress you, but I'm telling you, I heard from heaven. Wow, that's the Spirit of the Lord, man. <laughs> I saw while I was in prayer, I saw, you see them juice boxes and they say honest? <clears throat> With what we're learning right now about real kingdom worship, what it is and what it isn't. I really want you to begin to be honest with yourself. Holy Spirit wants us to be honest with ourselves. Come on. Be honest with yourself and be honest with God. And start taking a big drink to look. Am I really am I really worshiping God? He said, don't have no idols, man. Remember when we looked at it, and this is not my teaching, but this I have to share with you some instructions that we give you and then we'll go into teaching. But he said, uh, 1 John 5, 21. Keep yourself from idols. You will have to keep, you will have to learn to keep yourself from things that will try to take place of God, but not just God, because it's easy to say, no, God comes first. But when, we, when it begins to take place of even instructions God has given us, I begin to put that begin to put those things or those people, they begin to have more value than what God does in my life. And we're gonna look at this today. Uh, Isaiah chapter eight, I'm gonna read this out of the Amplified. Isaiah chapter eight, verse eleven. For the Lord spoke thus to me with a strong hand upon me. And he warned and instructed me not to walk in the way of this people. He said, I don't want you walking like the people uh, in these times. He said, I don't want you to be like them. Come on. Come on. And then he said this, do not call conspiracy or hard or holy all that this people will call conspiracy, hard or holy. Neither be in fear of what they fear, nor make others afraid and in dread. And, and, and one thing that always reminds me is, is don't be offended at what they're offended at. The, 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 today, people are so sensitive. People are so, I mean, you got to walk on eggshells around people nowadays. I mean, I mean, you, 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 you look at them wrong. If your skin color's wrong, if, if I mean, come on, no, 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 we ain't going to mess with all that. We ain't going to yell, oh, uh, you're, you're being racist. We ain't going to yell, oh, no, you're this, you're that. No, no. He said, don't you be getting offended at what the world's getting offended with. And, 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 and the, 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 this is the, the, what you do. Don't tell your neighbor, don't take offense. Don't take offense. It's that simple. No, it's that simple. Think of what you just told your neighbor. Tell them again. Don't take offense. So if I am trying to give you offense, tell your neighbor, don't take it. Just give it right back. I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. Offense, I'm just gonna, not going to take it. I refuse that. Thank you very much. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> so I'm just, I'm just not. I'm just going to keep walking in joy. I'm going to keep watching. I'm going to keep worshiping God. Amen. See, the enemy wants really if he wants us distracted from our worship, and then you start thinking about these other things. You start focusing on the other things. You're bothered by these other things. He said, "Well, what happened? You took it." Why, why did I lose my peace? You took it. 
Why I lose my joy? You took something that was not yours. It didn't even belong to you. He says, I don't want you, I don't want you screaming uh, conspiracy. I don't want you screaming on what the world is screaming. He said, man, don't be like them. I've called you to stand out. The Lord of hosts regard him as holy and honor his holy name by regarding him as your only hope of safety. Let him be your fear. Let him be your dread, lest, lest you offend him by your fear of man and distrust of him. And he shall be a sanctuary, a sacred and indestructible asylum to those who reverently fear and trust him. But he shall be a stone and a stumbling and a rock of offense to both the house of Israel and the trap and the snare that have in Jerusalem. And among many, the, among them shall they stumble thereon, and they shall fall and be broken and be snared and taken. Bind up the testimony, seal the law, and the teaching among my disciples. Now listen to verse 17. This is, this is power. I will wait for the Lord who's hiding his face from the house of Jacob. And I will look for him and hope in him. He said, you got to wait for God. Come on. Oh, I'll tell you never, is he worth the wait? What if you don't hear from him? Will you still wait on him? What if you don't feel him? Will you still wait on him? Will you still seek him if you don't see anything? Will you still seek him if you don't feel anything? Will you still seek him if you don't hear anything? Is he worth the worship? Come on. Behold, I and the children whom the Lord has given me will be signs and wonders from the Lord of hosts who dwells on Mount Zion. FZF. The Lord, the Lord said to tell you, it's my desire that those here and those in Plainview, those in the surrounding community that he has called us to lead, that your life become a sign and a wonder to people in love, to people in Plainview, to people in your neighborhood, to people in your family, to people, uh, the, your friends, your co-workers. He says, my desire that I will reign if you will sit and wait for me, even when you don't feel me, even when you don't see me, even when you don't, when you don't hear anything, that you will sit and hope in him and worship him and trust him anyway. He said, I'm going to make you a sign. I'm going to make you a wonder that people are going to have to look twice at your life and say, what the heck happened to them? I remember them. I remember where they come from. I remember how they used to be. I know them. No, you thought you knew. But I waited on the Lord and I worshiped. Him, and he'll turn your life into a sign. He'll turn your life into a wonder. Let people have to look twice and say, is that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. But you got to be honest with yourself. That's right. Come on. Come on. You got to be honest with God. And don't let anything come before him. Don't let anything come before your worship of him. Come on. Word for you. He's gonna make your life a, gonna, his desire is to make your life a sign and a wonder amongst the people. His desire is to make your life a sign and a wonder. This is your word. Declare this. Prophesy this. Expect this. Release your faith on this. Amen. Amen. Oh, glory to God. You may be seated. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 2, Jesus is rebuking, or she encourages and he rebukes the church as he lets them know, hey, uh, I see your work, man. I see, man, good work. I see your patience. You're patient. He said, but one thing I have against you and this is obviously something Jesus cannot, cannot, not that he will not, but he cannot put up with. He said, you have left your first love. In other words, saying you, you, you've, you've put more emphasis and you've put more value on your work than him. His place in your, in your heart. Come on. <clears throat> 
It's become, he said, an idol. Uh, I remember, I was, I was sharing with, with the, the staff earlier this week, I remember when, uh, when I failed, it was because I had begun to put more worth on the work than him. I said, okay, well, I've been to church all week. I've served, I've taken toilets, I've been in, man, I mean, I've, done, I mean, I, I, I've been at church all, all week long. Well, not even, you know, there wasn't even a service, but I was there serving, just there, you know, working. And so I said, well, you know, I don't have to pray today. Come on. Wow. Come on. Wow. I don't got to read my Bible today because, you know, I spent all that time. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Yeah. Come on. I had to get to worship the work that Come on. And Jesus said, remember from when you have fallen. Wow. Come on. Come on. See, we, we have, some of us have failed and don't even realize it because we're still going through the motions. We still go to church. Oh, yeah, I want to talk to you. Come on. I even serve. Come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. He said, but yeah, you fall. and said, I want to see how far you fall that if you don't repent, change the way you think, and go back to your first love. See, he has to be first. Someone say, he has to be first. He, be first. he said, if not, I have to come and remove your lampstand. Your light is going out. Come on. Come on. He said, then I have to come fight with you for the sword from my mouth. Wow. And I have to come and cut you with the word. Wow. Mm. Yeah, I don't see what I hear, but this is Jesus talking. Come on. I want you to write this down. Real kingdom worship. You can learn a lot from a sinner. That's the title for tonight. Real kingdom worship. You can learn a lot from the sinner. Remember that commercial with both the seatbelt? You can learn a lot from the dummy. Buckle up. But we can learn a lot from the sinner. We're going to look at some of the Bible. Uh, but we're looking at the purpose of real kingdom worship. Oh man, tell me that, my life is going to be a sign and a wonder. My life is a sign and a wonder. I'm going to come in one week and be like, what happened? What? I wonder what happened to him. I wonder what happened to her. They ain't different. Yeah. Yeah. Manifestation. Write that Psalm 95. I, I, I'll share it with y'all. I, I believe this is why. Well, I don't have to get into it. We'll talk about it Sunday or next week or so. Psalm 95. I want you to say this. Praise, praise. is not worship. Not worship. Worship, worship is, not praise. is not praise. Praise is praise. praise, is praise. Worship, is worship. worship is worship. True worship does not begin when you start singing. Come on. Come on. Come on. But when you acknowledge God, when you recognize Him as the source of everything, when you appreciate Him, when you give Him the credit, when you place highest value, and then I want you to write this down, the closer I get, the quieter it gets. The closer you get to Him, the quieter it gets. Psalm 95, want you, we're going to see praise and worship right here. <clears throat> oh, come, let us sing unto the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. <clears throat> let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the hills is his also. The sea is his. He made it. His hands formed the dry land. Now you see in this? He's, be, he, he's praising him. He's praising him. Enter into his courts with praise and thanksgiving. Now if you know anything about the tabernacle, his courts, they're still in inner courts. You've entered into his atmosphere, but you really still haven't entered into his chest.
chamber. Let me say it like you like this. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay. See, uh, let me say okay. <clears throat> because we have to understand kingdom. That was the message of Jesus, right? He said, uh, he said, this is the purpose I've been sent to preach the kingdom of God. Right? Uh, so we have to understand kingdom. Now, if you understand kingdom now, yes, I know God is everywhere. Right? But when his manifested presence is there. In other words, if you think of a real kingdom, the king is everywhere. The king is everywhere. His kingdom. You see him. You see his, 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 his lights. You see all this stuff. But when he manifests, in other words, if he was to walk in the room, a king right now was to walk in the room, Every knee must Come bow. Come on. Come on. For you and I not to bow is to tell the king, you're not my king. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. And then it gets quiet. Why? Because the king could say anything. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, say anything. Come on. And so when so now you enter into his courts with praise and thanksgiving. Someone say, Praise, praise. is what I do. Is what I do. But when you enter into the inner courts. He said, my voice is a small, shh, to still quiet place. Because his voice is so still, so quiet, but he said it's more powerful. It will split the trees of Lebanon. And all of a sudden, it's like a holy hush comes over you. And you know something has shifted in the atmosphere. You sense his presence has walked in the room. And you can't help but bow down because you know his manifested presence, his glory has just filled the room. Come on. You've entered into the inner court. You've entered into worship. Worship is what he receives. Worship is what he allows. Worship uh, 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 is what he accepts. Praise is what you do. Second atmosphere to come into worship. Are y'all getting this? And you're sitting right here. Now watch this. Here we go. Now look. He begins to give God the credit. The Lord is a great God. He's a great king of all gods. That's praise. He's describing praise describes. Worship ascribes. Gives the credit. Gives the glory. Gives the value. Gives the honor. Watch this. In his hand are the deep places of the earth. The strength of the, of the hills is his. The sea is his. What's he doing? He's giving him the credit. I'm acknowledging. Watch this. The sea is his. Uh, he made it. His hands formed the dry land. Oh, come let us worship and bow down. My God, are you hearing this? God has stepped in the room. Let's worship now. And we're going to bow down. See, they were shouting. They were giving glory. They were giving praise. And all of a sudden, something's shifting. It's okay. we got to worship now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to bow. <laughs> Jesus, man. Watch this. Let us kneel before the Lord, our maker. Look at he giving them all the credit. He made us. For he is our God. We are his people of his pastor, the sheep of his hand. Today, if you'll hear his voice, harden not your heart as in the provocation and is in the day of temptation in the wilderness when your fathers tempted me, proved me, saw my work. Forty years long was I grieved with this generation and said it is the people that do error in their heart and they have not known my ways. Worship is when you know God. You no longer just know His acts. Come on. But you know His ways to His acts. Somebody say worship. 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 They erred in their heart. Thinking, I could just sing songs and call it worship. Come on. Come on. 
He said, but they err in the way they think. They don't even know my ways. Are y'all are hearing this? Write this down. Worship is only possible through the knowledge of the one being worshipped. If you do not know him, you cannot worship him. Are y'all seeing this? Worship is only possible through the knowledge of the one being worshipped. Remember in Acts, they had to think to an unknown God. He said, you don't even know who you worship. We know who we worship. Come on, come on. Are y'all seeing this? I want you to write this down. This is very important. The closer you get, the more he begins to give. Oh, yeah. Jesus said, seek first the kingdom of God, the kingdom and his righteousness and his ways his ways. Somebody say his ways. He said, you seek that first. All this is going to be added. The closer you get, the more he begins to give. <laughs> Are y'all hearing this? I'm going to prove it to you in the scripture. You know I don't flow any other way. I say you can learn a lot from the sin. <laughs> this Bible, Kingdom College, Bible study, right? Did you know, how many of you knew there were two separate situations with the alabaster box, alabaster oil? There's two, there's not one. There's two. You got two different situations. Raise your hand if you knew that. One, two. Yeah, because I told you. You've been with me. Just break it down for you real quick. We're going to be in Luke chapter 7. But write these down for your Bible study. You can look these up on your own. So you, can, you, can, you, can, you can test. John 12, Mark 14, Matthew 26. Want it again? John 12, Mark 14, Matthew 26. Those three... He could 
could not socialize. Uh -huh. And now here he has Jesus, the healer, at his house, and they're having a meal. Mary Madeline comes and breaks all and, and, and pours it. And now here is the outcome of that. The disciples rebukes her, saying, This could have been sold and given to the poor. Jesus said, The poor you're gonna have with you always. Me, you ain't gonna have always. Come on. Amen. There's that outcome. He said, and she did this as a, as a as a preparation for my burial, right? Right? Come on. Now let's hear this, this situation. Someone say you learn a lot from the sin. So now here in Luke chapter 7, you, would you like to read it or you want me to break it down for you? I mean, I'm going to break it down anyway, but you want to read it? <laughs> let, me, let me break it down a little bit, then we'll come back and read it. So now Jesus is invited to his house, to a house, the owner being Simon the Pharisee, or pub publican, Pharisee, tax collector. And he was a fellow Pharisee. This happened in the city of Nain, N-A-I-N, around Galilee. Two different places. And now the outcome is going to be completely different. This was not preparation for his burial. This was worship. Oh, let's see. Okay, let's, let, let's, let, let's, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 7. Terry Amber, you can learn a lot from the sinner. <laughs> so what happens, I think we, we, we've been in church so long. We know so many scriptures, we know so many Bible stories, no one can tell us anything no more. Come on, that's true. Luke ch chapter 7, let's begin. Verse 36. And one of the Pharisees desired him, Jesus, that he would eat with him. And he went into the Pharisee's house, sat down to eat. And behold, a woman in the city, which was a sinner... Never gives her name. All we know is she's a sinner. When she knew that Jesus sat at the, at the meat in the Pharisee's house, she brought an alabaster box of ointment, and she stood at his feet behind him weeping, and began to wash his feet with tears, and did wipe them with her hairs of her head, and she kissed his feet, anointed them with ointment. Now when the Pharisee which had bidden him saw it, and he spoke within himself, saying, this man, hmm, hmm. He was saying to himself. Jesus answered him, Simon. See, here's it. But this is Simon the Pharisee. This is not Simon the leper. I have somewhat to say to thee. And he said, Master, say on. That's the song many of us sing. Master, say on. Master, I praise you. But it's just a song we're singing. Because we're going to find out this really wasn't his master. Oh, yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Someone say you can learn a lot from a sinner. There was a certain creditor which had, we're in Luke 7, 41. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence, another 50. When, he, when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, which of them would, he, would love him the most? Simon answered and said, I suppose he to whom he forgave most. And he said, so thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman. Let's pretend Simon's right here. And he turns to the woman. And he's looking at the woman that is washing his feet. My God, that won't talk to me. And he's talking to Simon while looking at the woman. Seest thou this woman? I entered to your house. He gave me no water for my feet. Stop there. In these times, that's an insult. If you, back, if we were living in these times and you came and invited you to my house, the first thing I would do would give you a kiss and put a bucket of water for, if I did not wash your feet, at least for you to wash your feet. Amen. For me not to do that would be an insult. Yep. Yep. Really to say, I really don't want you in my house. Wow. 
This is the same one that invited him into his house. Yes, Let's try to trap him. Come on. And then you hear his song, Master, say on. Yeah. You already insulted me. I came to your house and you didn't even offer me any water. Listen, listen, watch this, watch this. Now, now gave me no one. He's looking at the woman talking to Simon. Oh, Jesus, come on. She washed my feet with tears, wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss, but this woman, from the time I came in, has not ceased to kiss my feet, my head, with oil. Thou didst not anoint, but this woman has anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she has loved much, but to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And he said to her, thy sins are forgiven. And they sat at meat with him and began to say within themselves, who is this that forgives sins? And he said to the woman, thy faith has saved you. Go in peace. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, you invited me into your house. Come on. And then I show up. And you can't even lift your hands in the sanctuary. You know what I'm talking about? As a matter of fact, we're in the house of God. And you can't even shout hallelujah. You can't even say, Lord, I love you. You just want to say, I went to church because I worship God. You didn't even worship, much less praise. You insulted me. Y'all don't want to talk to me. He said, and now watch this, now watch this, now watch this. Now I want you to hear something. Worship. Here's some meanings of worship. To bow down. To kiss. To give. To give an offering is an act of worship. God said in his word, I know my worshipers for they bring an offering. Come on. He said they don't come empty handed. I'm about to teach some stuff here soon. Y'all get going to blow some of us away. He said, okay, I want you to, now I want you to sit down, sit down. I want you to have this picture. Because I want you to see, I want you to see her worship. I want you to see her worship. What did I say? The closer, the more he gives. The more you worship, I didn't say the more he gives. She felt so unworthy that she didn't even come up in front of him. Because she knew I'm a sinner. I'm not worthy, but you're worthy. So she stood behind him and then went down to his feet. And from behind him, she began to weep because no one, nobody recognized who they were sitting with. But she recognized who she was sitting with. She knew, I'm sitting before the king. I'm sitting before my hope. I'm sitting before my savior. There's nobody else. But now watch this. My God. She didn't come empty handed. She heard he's coming. He's coming. She had something to bring. And she went behind his feet. And she began to weep because she had no water. So she began to weep because she felt unworthy. And she began to let the tears wash away the dirt. And then she cleaned them and dried them with her hair. And began to kiss his feet in an act of worship. In an act of paying homage to a king. And then she poured back to say, I worship you. Not knowing what the results would have been. Her hope was in him. Listen, and the first thing he tells her, daughter, you are forgiven. Amen. Listen, she never asked. She never asked. She never sang a song. She said nothing. But her heart was screaming, I worship you. I worship you. I worship you. I'm unworthy, but I worship you. I'm not worthy, but I worship you. I'm a sinner, so I'm coming from behind. I can't even come from front. And I bow down as a Savior. I'm more value in my life than anyone or anything. And I don't care if, 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 if this makes me look foolish. Ah. She never sang one song. 
but was worshiping. Come on. Come on. She never said one worship songs more than we worship God. Our focus on if the song's not right, God's not there. No, it's your heart that's not you, not you. I'm talking, it's our heart that's not right. Our focus is on the song, not on Him. Our focus is on, even in our prayer, well, maybe I didn't say the right words, that she had no word. Her focus was him. Good. Let's switch our focus tonight. Come on. I'm not trying to find a perfect song. Yes, come, on. Wow. Uh, come on, just come on. You, 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 you worship. You, you just give him glory for a second. Give him glory. Thank him. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Worship is never supposed to be a struggle. Worship was never supposed to be a struggle. Worship was never, so it's not a struggle to worship Him. It's acknowledging Him. He's the source of everything. Her hope was in G in that very moment. Her life was in Jesus' hands. She didn't care if they were going to rebuke her. She didn't care if they were going to make fun of her. She didn't care if they would have kicked her out. She was there to worship Him. And the closer you, she got, listen to me. Here, okay, come on. The closer she got, the more he gave. Daughter, you're forgiven. And look what he said. He's, he's talking to Simon, looking at her and said, look, she has ceased. I can't quit kissing my feet. She has ceased to wash my feet. She has ceased to pour out. She's still doing it as I'm talking right now. The closer you get, the more he gives. And then he tells her daughter, your faith has saved you. Not only are you forgiven, but hey, you're saved now. Yeah. Someone say, that ain't it. That ain't There's, it. More. There's more. Come on, someone say, the closer you get, the, closer you get. the more you worship, the more you give. I'm sure something that she had not had in years, he told her daughter, go. In peace. She was known in the city as a sinner. Something that she probably hadn't had in years and didn't even ask for. Because she kept seeking him. Because she kept worshiping him. Because she kept ascribing value to him. That he was worth everything that she had. That she was worth her dignity. She was worth her life. She was worth it. It didn't matter. She was worth the embarrassment. If they tried to embarrass her, it didn't matter. She ain't even in her own house. She came into a stranger's house. <laughs> and the more she worshiped, the closer she got the more he kept giving. Forgiveness, hadn't even asked. Hadn't even opened her mouth. Salvation, hadn't even asked. Hadn't even opened her mouth. And then, hey, yes. here's something you haven't had in years. Wow, wow. Peace. Oh, you can go now. You've been made whole. Lift your hands and give us some glory. Come on, lift your hands and give us some glory. Come on, lift your hands and give us some glory. Just give us some glory. The more you worship him, I'm telling you, the more you worship him, the more it just be, it's, it's, it's programmed to flow out of him. He didn't have to open your mouth and say a word. He knows. He didn't have to open your mouth and beg. He knows. He didn't have to open your mouth and cry. He knows. He didn't have to say not one. This, it, ah, someone say you can learn a lot from a sinner. She didn't sing one song. Because what, what is God trying to show us? You think songs get you in. And so your worship is songs. You keep searching for songs. You're searching for songs instead of searching for God. Come on. Come on. And you have forgotten your song. You're singing someone else what God has done for someone else instead of what God has done for you. Come on. Uh, one sinner wouldn't even look up. 
He just kept being his chance. He said, God, I'm not worthy of this. He said, he left more justified. Why couldn't the others recognize who was before them? And I believe it's a lot of reason for most of the churches is we start comparing. They sound not like James. Praise the Lord. See, they started comparing. If you only knew. Who that was touching you when you were living. Touch her if you knew where she come from. Come on. So we start comparing a lot of people. Okay, well, I'm not as bad as them. But only to realize, if you only knew the truth, you probably would. Come on. Come on. And so we start measuring our worship. See how the Lord talks to We compare. Come on. It's ain't about yeah. you and them. Yeah. It's about yeah. you and you. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Say we worship him but don't love what he loves. For God so who we judge him. We tell them they're not good enough. We tell them they're going to hell. Jesus gave his life. Come on. God, I don't want to talk to me. And we say, at least I'm not like the world. So you're saying you're not loved? Come on. Come on. Oh. Oh, some of y'all get it later. Find it later. <laughs> Come on. Y'all get anything tonight? Worship. When she was kissing, that's worship. Worship God, not your song. Not your job, not your kids, not your business, not your house, not your money. Worship God. Exodus 23. What I said, the closer you get, the more you get. The more you get. He can't help it. <coughs> and I'm going to prove it to you, right? He's the same yesterday. Exodus 23. Oh, you know what I just heard when we said Exodus 23? Some of y'all coming out. Some of y'all about to come out. That bondage, that hell, that soul prison you've been in, that financial prison you've been in. Come on, that that, that mental problem you've been having, that heart issue you've been calling. Ah, some of you, somebody is coming out. Someone is coming out so you can worship him as the source of everything.
no one, I'm not saying this for a, a shout. I'm not saying, but I just, I'm hearing someone's house is going to get paid off. Oh, it's going to get paid off. And you're going to recognize him as the source. Oh. Exodus 23. 25. Now, you see where it says, serve the Lord? That is the same Greek word for worship. So when you see the word serve, that is the same Hebrew word for worship. It's an E word. It e, e, starts with the E. I, I don't know how to say it right now. Wow. And you shall worship the Lord your God. And what's he going to do? He said, I'll bless your bread. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'll bless your water. Mm -hmm. Every need you have, I'm going to bless it. Every need, any need that you ever have, I'm going to bless it. If you worship, he said, if you worship the Lord your God, he said, I'm going to bless your bread. I'm going to get on your bread and make sure you never run out. I'm going to get on your water and make sure you never run dry. I'm going to bless your life. Whatever it takes to sustain your life, you ain't got to worry about it from now on. And if you, someone say, the closer you get, the, closer you get, the more he gives. The more he gives. If you worship the Lord your God, I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. What sickness has the devil been trying to put on your body, trying to put on your mind, trying to put on your soul? He said, no, see, are you hearing this? See, and then you ain't even got to ask. Worship. 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 He said, this comes automatic. I begin to take things that were trying to make you sick. I begin to take things that were trying to kill you. He said, I'll take it from the midst of me. Watch, listen, listen, listen. Now, if in the midst of me, he said, I'm taking out of your bloodline. You ain't got to worry about missions in the family. You ain't got to worry about my grandpa had this. You ain't got to worry about because you're a worshiper. Anywhere around you, I'm going to take this from you. Why? Because you're worshiping. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Somebody say glory to God. See, not if you see, see, once again, you cannot equate singing songs to worship. I'm not saying we don't sing songs because we do. We praise Him. But a lot of us think because we sing songs, we worship. And we're wondering, why? Why? How come I can't get back to my first love? How come it's not like I'm used to? Because you're singing songs. Come on. That's right. He said, no, you're honoring with your lips. Yeah, come on. It's hot spots. Come on. Come on. So we think because we sang the song in failing. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Are y'all getting this? Yeah. I'll take it from the midst of you. Shall, there shall nothing cast their young, nor be barren. In thy land, the number of the days I'll fulfill. He said, You ain't gonna have no more miscarriages. You ain't gonna have no more miscarriages. You, you ain't gonna be empty. I'm gonna make sure whatever miracle you get impregnated with, you're gonna get birth to that. I'm gonna make sure your life is fully fulfilled. I'm gonna make sure you're never lacking. You're never empty. Any miracle that I birth you with, you ain't talking just to women. He's talking to a worshiper. A man can't get pregnant with a baby, but you can get pregnant with a miracle. You can get pregnant with a son. You can get pregnant with a wonder. He said, I'll make sure you get birth to that. You ain't going to have no many miracle miscarriages. And natural. You want a baby? Oh, yeah, yeah, my son. Let me keep going. Let me keep going. Are y'all hearing this? He said, I'm going to make sure your days are fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Make sure you don't die. Amen. Come on. Come on. I don't want to die. Oh, come on. Amen. You're not supposed to die before your time. Come on. Come on, prophet. He 
say, well, worshippers didn't belong in a field. Can I keep going? So I'll say, the more you worship him, the more he gives. The more he gives. Then this is all a sign of someone getting closer and closer. He keeps giving and giving. So let me bless your bread. Oh, they're still worshiping, let me bless their water. They're still worshiping, then make sure they bring forth some miracles. They're still worshiping, I'm going to make sure their life fulfilled. they still worshiping. I'm going to make sure they ain't got no sickness, no diseases. they still worshiping. What else can I give them? I'll send my fear before them. I'll destroy all the people to whom they shall come. And I'll make all thy enemies turn their backs against him. Any, any enemy come against you, I'm going to make them have to turn back and run. And anything anyone that try to stop you won't be able to. Y'all not hear me. Did, did. Someone said, the closer I get, the, closer I the more he gives. I'll send the hornets before thee, which shall drive out the Hivite, the Canite, the Hittite, the Hittite before thee. Listen, I will not drive them out from before thee in one year, unless the land become desolate and the beasts of the field multiply against thee. So this I want you to hear. Listen, verse 30. By little and little, I'll drive them out from before thee until thou be increased and inherit the land. His whole desire is I'm going to cause you to increase. Keep worshiping. I'm going to cause you to increase. Little by this ain't going to get rich quick skin. No. No, 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 no. Don't you pervert the word of God. Don't you pervert the kingdom of God. Don't you pervert my Jesus. No, no, no. He said, little by I'm going to cause this stuff to live. He said, Bob, I'm my, my little. Until you are in Christ. And you inherit what you were supposed to inherit while you're on the earth. Somebody give God praise. Real. Worshippers increase. Come on. Don't you don't you judge someone that's increasing? They could be a real worshiper. Come on. Come on. Don't you criticize somebody that's increasing? They could be a real worshiper. Come on. Don't you mock somebody that is got that God is blessing? It could be they are a worshiper. They do more than sing songs. Come on. Come on. She said, I have to say this. <laughs> Why? God, I did it. God has made my life a one. That all family members have to come see for themselves. <laughs> what did I do? I've worshipped him. Yeah. Even when I didn't feel him. Even when I didn't see him. Even when it seemed like nothing was changing. Mm -hmm. Even when it felt like things were getting worse. Yeah. I never stopped worshiping. Amen. Oh, can, can I give you one more? Can I give you one more? Oh, oh, can I give you one more? And then we'll call it. Job chapter one. Job chapter one. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Just drop it. Hallelujah. I thought. I said, what was that? I, I saw a hundred dollar bill. I thought it was in my Bible. I said, wait a minute. Go back to that page. <laughs> Job chapter one. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I said, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bless his holy name. Bless, Bless his holy name. Uh -huh. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Did I say Job chapter 1? Yeah. When all of this stuff is coming against Job, now, Job spoke from what he knew. Okay? Yes. I'm just going to start with verse 18. While they were yet speaking, there came another man telling them some more bad news. Your sons and your daughters were eating and drinking wine, and the elders of brother's house, and behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness, smote the four corners of the house. Oh, don't stay home because it's windy. <laughs> <laughs> And it fell on the young men. And now they're dead. And gone. His children are gone. Everything's gone. Job arose, ripped his mantle, his, his cloak, shaved his head, fell down on the ground, and I don't want to talk to me. He fell down on the ground and worshipped God. Don't, don't keep reading but the end result, God gave him double what he ever had before. The Bible says there was no one richer than him. But he kept getting... Oh, Jesus. Watch this, watch this, watch this, listen, listen. And he said, here's what Job said. Naked I came out of my mother's womb. Naked uh, shall I return thither. The Lord gave and the Lord taketh away. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why? He said, God, the only reason I had this is because you gave it to me. And if you decide to take it, well, blessed be the name of the Lord my God. Anyhow, I'm still going to worship. Listen to Job. In this, Job sinned not, nor charged God foolishly. Without a show of hands, how many of us, how many of us have done that foolish thing? God, why did you let this happen to me? You're charging God, the source of the very breath you just took away. We didn't feel God, we didn't see God, I see our music getting worse. Bowed down and, and never said, God. The closer you can be, he had some struggle. Come on. Come, he, he went through some trying times in the middle of that time from, from chapter 1 to chapter, was it 40 or 42? Yeah. But he never charged God. He continued to seek. 